Hi, welcome back to Chuck's Electronics Workshop and uh, Chuck's Robotics Workshop. We're going to be taking a look at a very unique item today. This is the OMA 2017 robotic arm and uh, you can purchase one of these kits for only $20. I'll give you a demonstration of it first. We can close the gripper, open the gripper, close, open, close on command, and by giving it a little more we can actually lift up the robotic arm. So let's let's pick up this jar. Very nice. And let's put it back down, nice and gentle. We'll pick it back up. And if you want, you can swivel it and drop it in a different location. For our robotics contest that we're going to be starting in January of 2017, we're going to be using this robotic arm uh, to move. Uh, we're going to look at this as a, a mine or a bomb that has to be removed. But we have to use a robot to do it so no man or uh, human being would get hurt. So uh, this is particularly um, the way it's laid out. So let's take a look at it. Here we have the base. The base consists of an upright, a bolt and a nut that comes through and this simply just gets glued on to a CD just like this. And then you'd center it up. Now your upright If you set it in there just right, you just turn it and then put your pin in. And your pin will come in your kit and you'll line up your pin with the hole. It's a little tricky. Let's see if we can slide it right in there to both sides. And then you can, depending upon how you want to do it, you can put glue here, you can cut this down a little bit. Um, certainly the, the pin will be long enough, but it allows it to pivot. You'll also notice that the servo is held in by two screws, which is included. The servo, which is included. The um, servo horn and a tapped hole, which allows us to adjust the height from the ground to the object height that we want to uh, want to capture or pick up. So we can actually adjust this height with this screw. So that's our height adjustment screw and that simply just gets glued right on the top just like that and that's pretty much it. I tried to design this one so that it would be simple for the kids to work on. Um, another point is that it can be taken apart very easily just like this and if you'll notice here there we just have two screws here and we have special spacers and these spacers are set up just like this for precision spacers that are cut and rounded just right so we can have a nice smooth operation just like that. So it's really simple. We put the screws in, we put the spacers, lay the spacers down, we take our grip, our left grip, put it down, right grip, put it down, and then um, take a, um, I believe it's a 560 forts. Uh, let's make sure about that. Um, tool here. Let's see exactly what that is. It is a 5 sixteenths. I stand corrected. So it's a 5 sixteenths socket. You can get these at the hardware store. And uh, you'll use that to tighten it down. You don't want to make it real tight. You want to make it uh, somewhat loose so that this can slide back and forth real nice. In fact, you want it relatively loose so that it can work smoothly. With each kit, 
you'll have a uh, servo controller but I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to work that out yet see if I can get a good price on these on these little controllers here but they really do work quite well We have to make sure that we put the the orange wire in line with the uh, what they call the out wire, and then we can lift it up, open, close, open, close, just like that. Now, there's a control wire that will be in your kit that'll be pre-bent for you, or if you take the class, um, you can I can show you how to do that in the class, and then this just simply fits in there. We call these Z-bends. And um, I believe that's pretty much everything. You'll notice that the the gripper, the way I designed it now, it um, is now using gears instead of the older method of using the aluminum uh, pieces that basically were push and pull pieces which weren't very accurate and sometimes hard to adjust. But this just automatically, just as soon as you take it right out of the parts bag, you can start putting this together. This should take no longer than an hour to put together, whereas before the old one took quite a length of time. Anyway, I want to thank you for uh, joining me, and uh, I hope if you um, uh, pursue to build the robotic arm that you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please uh, give me a call. Thanks for watching.